Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to make a dustpan from cardboard just like this. This will be a very easy life hack tutorial, so let's get right into the video. So how to make a dustpan from a piece of cardboard just like this, a life hack tutorial. Let's get into this video. First and foremost, a little backstory. Um, many of my part-time jobs were working at grocery stores. I worked at one grocery store for a very long time, a local one around my parents' neighborhood. And then I moved on to other ones as I sort of moved on throughout life. I moved on to other uh, bigger chain grocery stores, okay? And one thing that I noticed is that basically in all of the grocery stores, when it comes to stocking the shelves and sweeping up and cleaning up, you don't really get a dustpan. You just use cardboard as a dustpan. It works phenomenally. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So first and foremost, you want to get a piece of cardboard and you want to make sure one piece of cardboard, one of the edges of the cardboard, the longest edge that you want to use as, as the dustpan portion that will touch the floor is a nice straight edge like a factory straight edge so you can see right here is the factory straight edge and I ripped this part off of the box okay now you want to get the factory straight edge and you want to do two simple things first and foremost you're going to compress it so you see it's compressible so I can take my fingers and I can actually compress it down to thin it out and that's going to you can you can actually hear it crunching just like that that's going to thin out the edge, which is going to make it easier to get it flush or as flush as possible with the floor. Okay, so thin out the entire uh, edge that's going to be touching the floor like that. Once you've done that, what you're going to do next is, this is obviously a bad example because it's a little bit curved, but I can still make this work. It almost would work a little bit better uh, because of the curvature because it's going to hold the dust in the middle and the debris. You're going to bend this downwards ever so slightly. The factory edge that's straight, you're going to bend it downwards ever so slightly. So you can see right here, I'm bending it downwards and what that's going to do is that's going to allow it to sort of sit flush with the floor so i'm bending it downwards like this i'll show you what it looks like after i'm done but as you can see i've bent it downwards like this sort of got a little bit of a downward angle now it's hard to see because of the curvature but it's got a little bit of a downward angle over here as you can see um and that, that's what i mean by bending bending it downward bend it forward like that okay so what we have now is essentially we have a nice straight edge that's bent downward so it can sit flush with the floor, okay? And it's compressed so it's nice and thin. This is your makeshift dustpan made out of cardboard. I would use these all the time and they work phenomenally. Obviously, a real dustpan would be a little bit better, you know, but the good thing is you can rip a big piece of cardboard that's bigger than any dustpan that you could ever buy. So you can make the dustpan according to the size that you need. And if you need a small dustpan, you can just use a little slice of this right here and it can be nice and small. So that's it, that is how to make a dustpan from cardboard a life hack tutorial really really easy to do this is from an old box that's why unfortunately it's curved but obviously for getting it from a new box the curve you won't be as curved but I could just uncurve it like this and I would basically get you know uh, as, as, as nice of a dustpan as I could obviously the end here is sticking up but um, you can kind of see the bend in it and yeah it, it works really really well from personal experience it works really really well and that's it how to make a dustpan from cardboard a life hack tutorial if you like this video tutorial please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.